Namaste, my name is Dio and welcome to my channel. Today I say let's forget about law of attraction. Let's forget about attracting everything that we are trying to attract and take it to the next level. Let's have the things now we are trying to attract love, success, money, jobs, house, cars. Let them attract us now. Let them attract you right now. And I'll tell you how to do this. It was done in the earlier times. This mudra is going to be extremely important in our attraction. Now, the word attraction, the entire feeling of attraction has so much of importance in our life. Name one thing in your life. It could be your partner, it could be your husband, your job, your car, your clothes, this phone that you're watching, this, your laptop. Name it. Anything in your life that you have that you were not attracted to. I, I don't think anybody is going to put in any money, any effort in getting something or being around something that you were not attracted to. I'm sure you agree with this. Now, when you talk about attraction, attraction happens both ways. Today, all the things that I name right now were also probably attracted to you. That's why that, that combination happened and today you both are there together in each other's lives. So attraction has a huge importance in our life. But right now, let's turn it around. Why, like I said, why is attraction given so much of importance in the earlier time? Also, when I say earlier time, Right from the time we call them Adam and Eve, but let's say the first man and woman. It's not the Adam and Eve that we see in our beautiful Google images and all. Adam and Eve at that time were not at all attractive. Not at all attractive. They were like those cavemen. You could not differentiate who is man and who is woman. So the beings, the Nags who have given us all this intelligence under the guidance of Shiva and Vishnu of how to survive over here, their intelligence is where we have our Kundalini inside. Their first thing that they taught to be attractive was to the woman that they taught was an eyeliner. To apply an eyeliner so that she becomes a little more attractive than what the creator had sent them to be. Once the DNA mix happened, that's the image that now we all are. All of us are so good looking, so attractive because their DNA was mixed with us. But the first attraction that they taught us was an eyeliner. So the whole importance of attraction was always given so that you feel good, you look good emotionally, physically, spiritually, so that now everything that you're trying to attract is also attracting you. It's also attracting you. If you are energy, everything else is energy. Everything else is energy. That love is energy, that person is energy, that job is energy, money is energy, happiness, joy, these are all energies now need to be attracted towards you. So let's say right now physically, Physically, if you're not feeling good, there you've got you've got you've got acne, you've got pimple, your hair, you're losing your hair, you're physically feeling weak. You no matter what makeup you do, you're going to the gym, but emotionally you're feeling weak. Like I said, spiritually, physically, mentally, there's a lot of ways that we can start feeling not attractive about ourselves. You think any of these things that we're trying to manifest in our life is going to be attractive towards us? No matter what practices you're doing, no matter what practices you're following, you're reading about your manifestation is not coming to you because you yourself are not feeling attractive. You yourself are not feeling attractive. There's loads of reasons behind this. Like I said, it could be your emotional emotional problems with you, your depression, your anxieties, your, your traumas, your physical appearance is not making you feel good. So how do you think anybody is going to get attracted to you? This is why in the beginning of the video I said, have you got something in your life that you were not attracted to? So there's no harm in being attractive, there's no harm in being looking good and doing whatever it takes for you to feel good, look good. Where it goes wrong is where you're going to start looking for validation from other people or you're going to compare yourself to other people. You will never succeed in that. But yeah, I'm the most good looking guy, I'm the most good looking woman, I've got the best physique, my body is the best. Telling yourself, for you it's the best, once this starts happening, then results start coming in, everything that you're trying to manifest, you are going to be sitting there, they will start attracting you in their life. Money wants to go to a place where it's going to be used in a nice way. Joy wants to come to a place where it's going to be treated really well. Happiness the same way, love the same way. This is why I tell people manifest love, manifest money. Don't manifest a lover, don't manifest a job, don't manifest that business. Let that source come from anywhere. You manifest the best, but for that, you need to look the best, feel the best. This mudra is going to help us with that. Now we are 60% water. Human beings, energy is 60% water. 
we've got water in our brain 75 to 80 percent of our brain and heart is water again another 60 percent of it is our liver lungs kidneys which are storing our emotions all have water in it so now water besides drinking that water that balance of that water in our in this body suit is extremely important when that balance is not there is where you start getting your pimples where you start getting your acne where you start feeling weak you start feeling lethargic your emotions are getting affected this is why being depressed trauma anxiety starts coming up so everywhere where this water balance needs to be maintained this mudra is going to help us with that this mudra is called the varun mudra the varun mudra this mudra is also a mudra for your speech like i said right now when the water balance is perfect in your in your mind in your heart in your in your emotions in your brain for calculation for any of the reason when the balance is right you have the right words you have the right speech to express yourself also there's so many there's so many people who are feeling terrible about themselves because every emotion of them that they are storing inside them they cannot express themselves they don't have a voice for it varun mudra will give you that voice for it because now that water balance has happened inside you there's not a disbalance inside you now so you will say the right things you will mean the right things express yourself correctly correctly exactly what you need to say whether it's for that lover for that job for those emotions to be let out any of those things you will do it brilliantly varun mudra does just that now this is how you do the varun mudra mind body soul all three that's it that's it this is what varun mudra is your thumb touches your pinky finger the little finger which also represents our speech like i said this is a universal symbol for water this is why we say okay i'm going to go to the loo i need to go pee most of the world anywhere you go this is how they this is the symbol for it because it represents water so now this thumb represents shiva supreme once the supreme and the the water in us combined together that balance starts happening in our entire body resulting in balance happening in our life resulting in us starting to look good looking attractive beautiful for our manifestations to come to us like i said forget about others if you're going to look for validation from others forget about it that's never going to happen if you're going to compare your success your looks your money to other people you will always find yourself to be a failure so your looks your money your job your happiness everything is yours so this is going to do just that it's going to make you feel more attractive and once you start doing this mudra i'll tell you how to do it once you start doing this you'll start seeing a glow on your face your hair problem starts getting solved your emotional problem start getting solved your energy problem starts getting solved with this this is the importance of varun mudra this is why like i said in the earlier times so much of importance was given to attraction even in today's time there is this is why we go to the gym this is why we wear the best clothes this is why we surround ourselves with all good things for attraction to feel good look good but then something inside us the main source of us experiencing everything comes from within that within needs to be sorted out also this is where varun mudra comes in handy so now this is how you do it very simple you don't need to press this little finger down all you do is touch the tips release the other fingers up and you sit in your meditation pose you sit on a chair however you feel comfortable as long as you know why you're doing this you're doing this so that the water inside us is a balance created over there resulting in us feeling good everything in your life will start changing i'm telling you you'll start seeing a different glow in your eyes in your skin in your smile in your face in your hair everywhere you'll see a different glow in you people will start noticing that so this is how you do it how many times do you do it for how long do you do it you will decide that for yourself enough of other people deciding what you should do how long you should do enough listen to your intuition so you decide for yourself once you know that okay i'm going to be sitting in my varun mudra because these are the problems that i have my on my skin my hair in my confidence in my voice in my speech you decide for yourself how long you want to sit you decide how many times you want to do it in a day don't get obsessed with it then of hours and hours you're thinking down next day you're going to get the results no that'll never happen so the right way to probably do it right now for you is what i would recommend you do what you have to do but i would still say try for a few minutes in a day few minutes try for 5 minutes 
tired for five minutes in a day, twice in the day, thrice in the day, you decide that. But this is how you do it. Knowing why you're doing this is more important. Once you start doing this, remember the water balance in you is going to, it's like detoxifying everything. Your emotions, your your uh, your your physical appearance, everything's getting detoxified for now to you become so attractive that now you're not looking at the stars, the stars are going to be looking at you. That's how bright you're going to shine, my friend. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Until I see you again, have a good life. Namaste.